Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. We're going to be doing a little video now going over some of the best side event champions to use. Now I'm sure you're probably saying, Rich, I know exactly who I'm going to use each and every time that I grind. And that's good for you. But other people need a bit of perspective of like, you know, who's some good champions, what's good for what, you know, the Hercules fight, you know, some options. Oh, and of course the champion fight as well. I can't believe I forgot that. So... Two missions, one is recruit, one is train. Now the difference is there are some champion selections, some ideas that actually make this a little bit more easier to grind. A good example of which is in train. And train is your rank up side of things. In this, there's actually some really good champions to benefit one specific type of champion. Now, if you are doing the platinum pool, and you're trying to get the fabulous crystals, which by the way, I do recommend doing that, which means that you'll have to do, if you're Cavalier and Thronebreaker, you have to do an epic, and then you'll have to take down the boss with a Masker, Gold Pool, Gwen Pool, all the pools really, Venom Pool, Platinum Pool, the it, it, it just, it does exactly what it says on the turn, you know, just, just use those champions to finish off the boss. If you're finding it a struggle, I would probably say use your top champions, take down the enemy, and then finish off with um, you know uh, the last like ten percent, twenty percent of the champion. Now, again, we're talking about the train. Train, not difficulty, but the quest. In this, the great thing about this is you can take in a Corvus Glaive, and that is fantastic. Persistent based champions are some of the best, but I would say if you're interested in Corvus, it is fantastic. You've got a Hulk, which should give you your Avengers. You've got potentially, uh, well, it's an iffy one. Right? I think it's more, I th don't think you're going to get, a, no, there's not going to be no evade on this one. But you'll get a mutant, and right at the very end, you'll get yourself a tech. Add a shot as a guardian. So there's at least three missions of your Corvus Glaive. This is a glaive fest of just like getting through it. Probably, I'd say, with the first kind of one with the Hulk Ragnarok, then I would say that as soon as you get, uh, you know, wait about two, three fights for then using um, again against uh, Deadpool X Force and then, you know, finishing off as you go go through to the end with the champion. But it's still like you still can use Corvus in order to travel through it. But there are so many other options that just make this so uh, much easier. And that obviously it's going to be persistent based champions. Now, currently in game, there's no way to sort those that are persistent, and that would be great, like uh, like search tags, persistency, and be able to like pick up something. But it's just kind of like using your noodle in order to find those little uh, those little symbols right there to know that champion is persistent. And there's a whole host of champions you can use that are persistent and are relatively helpful. Now, listed are that I've got on my list, which is in the description, by the way, if you're interested. Apocalypse with Cable, great combination, great to get you to where you need to be with your genetic code. I would say that Professor X is a good option. Morningstar, Mr. Sinister, Modo, Aegon, Bishop, Guillotine, 2099, Strife, Cat Marvel movie, to name but a few of the champions that can be really, really helpful that are persistent and take you fight to fight and can add up and be just that great little damage dealers that you need, especially as you're doing you're going on a journey of 10 fights, people, 10 fights. Now, here's the thing, you can use Captain America, America Chavez, and a few other things like Captain America, Infinity War, um, Captain America, World War II even, uh, and you can then you look to get your Sentinel of Liberty done quicker. However though, do bear in mind, it doesn't really matter because as soon as you down one champion, you get 3,600 points. And lo and behold, if you don't do them all, then of all the runs that you do, you will be able to smash that without any kind of worry of having to use something like Captain America. So if you don't know what I'm referring to, it's just basically the solo event that runs in parallel, which is uh, Sentinels of Liberty right there. And then how to get points uh, of the lovely rewards that you get is, uh, yeah, uh, 3,600 per fight. And you get like, a lot of extra if you use some of those champions. But it's not needed. You don't have to do it. As uh, as for the ten fights times the uh, ten fights times three thousand six hundred times I think it's like twenty eight runs is the kind of the you can do up to thirty runs but again the, I've explained that in another video it does add up to uh, to just over one mil which is what you need to do so don't fret there just kind of like enjoy the champions to grind out the way you want to and that's what I personally do and that's what I personally do. now for both types of difficulties it's not all about like one specific champion as you can use multiples and i would say there are going to be some great options especially to take down some of the various content and if we for example go into the the, the recruit 
section, which is what I'm personally doing. I'm looking to grab myself some sweet, sweet shards. Uh, I'm just going to go over some selections of teams and champions that um, I'm rocking. So my team of choice is this one on the far left, and it ticks a few boxes because of uh, a few utilities. So I'll just go for my team before talking about some good damage dealers. Doctor Doom, uh, my rank three six star. Would I, if I didn't have him in like AQ, he would be the five sixty five version. The five star five sixty five would be um, in my team to go and do what needs to be done. Apocalypse, rank three six star. Again, same principle. If I'm not using from AQ, AQ, then I probably will replace him out for something else, unless I'm choosing to make the Horseman synergy. Archangel is great at clearing lanes. Again, high damage, and Human Torch is there because I was trying to experiment around with some stuff. Lo and behold, he works relatively well, except against Cosmic Ghost Rider. But there are loads of champions to use against this, and that's just the thing. You can either go one of two ways. High damage dealers with buff champions that have sort of great interaction, your mutants, your cosmics, and, and yeah, the yeah, other ones that skills when it comes to uh, debuffs. Or yes, you can go very centric with debuffs. And some of the champions that I recommend that are high impact debuff dealers or damage dealers uh, are in the description down below. And they are Nick Fury, Falcon, which is which is great for taking on a few kind of fights, by the way, with that defense, um, defense ability actually reduction. Human Torch, as we've just seen, Namor, Black Widow Clairvoyant, Doctor Doom, Cap, Camp Infinity War. And that's the thing, you can bring Cap Infinity War and build a team around him and having one of every every different type of champion. And that, that actually relatively would work well. I would say that you can look to build him around a team. You know, we could just create a little team now around him. We could just take him there. We could just replace him into that one. And boom, there you go. We've got a um, bit of skill to shrug off those debuff effects. We've got Mystic there. Uh, if I can remember what Mystic does. One of them is a weakness. No, that's uh, science. Uh, and then we've got Mutant as well. So it's like you have this kind of like, and you can just switch it out. If you want Armor Break, and switch in a Cosmic in there. We could take Cat Marvel Movie, and we could add that in. We could change the dynamic of the team by taking out... Uh, Taking out Apocalypse and then switching it around with some other champions as well. We could put a tech in there, we could put a warlock in it and place it there. Just like that. Not really needed, and I do think interactions against the boss is relatively important. Like Mystics, as soon as Fisty Cuffs ends, because that's another thing. When the enemy champion gets Fisty Cuffs, it's just a waiting game at this given stage. And that's the thing. With the boss interaction, I would say champions that enter work really well. Black Widow Clairvoyant against Hercules. Any Mystic against Hercules, if you're building up Morningstar, for example, that could be a really good option to take in against it. But yeah, there's a few hashtag metals on the route. Cosmic Ghost Rider and War Machine, they're three champions that are hashtag mental, metal, mental, <laughs> metal. Uh, and I would say that that would be, um, you know, the good kind of option there to kind of bring in Magneto just to clear three fights. And that's maybe the thing of just going, okay, those to clear three fights, then I bring in. Archangel, which is planned always for for two of those fights, maybe even well two of them with um, with Hit Monkey and uh, Punisher. So then I've kind of satisfied there for for like six of the fights that, that are there, and the other ones will probably be something to take on Longshot, which will probably be Doctor Doom, and then just having like any kind of one to kind of deal with them that. Are not a class disadvantage and advantage which would be falcon so falcon would deal with those two fights right there and then it's just the boss which you know we just rotate back in either apocalypse uh hopefully and that's the other thing like apocalypse is a spare champion in this and it's just a case of like finding a good champion against the boss which as i said mystic champions will do well against class advantage even more so if they're going to interact with uh kind of suppressing the damage that can be potentially put there and, and i would say that when it comes to Hercules, if you got champions that, and I'd used Archangel fine with this before, cleared it, but maybe champions that do different types of debuffs. The champion interacts to suppress things like bleeds and poison, or maybe use champions that are shock. And this is where Black Widow Deadly Origin, which is a, a good favorite of mine, uh, I would probably put in against this because I think that's kind of like a good fit. Black Widow Deadly Origin, Human Torch with the, the incinerates, and uh, yeah, a whole host of different champions that uh, that would work relatively well. I'm putting huge amounts of debuff numbers at the enemy Jabari Panther, Crossbones, just champions that don't rely too much on certain things. There's lots that can be take, taken against this, but I think as long as you kind of have stuff in your mind of saying, right, well, we got Corvus and we got the persistent charge based champions one side of things and on this side of things then you can look at champions that are high debuff damage dealers and also you know don't write off the likes of magneto your agons bishops 
Guillotine 2099, uh, and so many more that can really kind of take on this stuff. So yeah, a full write-up of information is in the description down below, including some team configurations that I've been working with and quite like. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later on. Thanks. Have a good one. And don't forget to check out some content that's been recently posted, probably some stuff and some coverage from yesterday, with good news about the situation around the, uh, the summer event and the summer camp. Some grace days are on the way. I appreciate you all and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.